Today I'm going to tell you how to deal with garbage and recycling in Switzerland. My family moved to Switzerland from America, so when we first got introduced to the garbage and recycling idea, we thought it was pretty complicated. Today I'm going to show you how to recycle the different materials in Zurich, which is where I live. Basically every Swiss family has a recycling center so they can easily sort their recycling. So right now we're living in Switzerland, uh, Zurich I mean. So these are Zuri socks. So you can only put your garbage in these bags and take them out in these bags. Oh my gosh. These cost two francs each. You might be wondering why is trash bags so expensive? The reason why is that America does catch each trash bag 10 cents except to get your trash in a trash truck and all that stuff. You, you actually have to pay money monthly. But when my dad moved to Switzerland and he saw the price of the trash bags, he freaked out. Even though he didn't notice in the States, you still have to pay $30 for your trash can every month. Point is, in Switzerland, they want you to generate less trash, recycle more, and even in the food waste bin to put all your food waste in. Did you know Switzerland is number six in the world for recycling? 51% of household waste is recycled in Switzerland. On the other hand, America only recycles 35% of their household waste. In Switzerland, to recycle paper, it's way different because you have to take your paper, roll it up in string, and on the specific paper day, you just leave it out on the sidewalks for them to pick up your paper. Because cardboard day only comes every four weeks and you miss it, then you're in really big trouble because all that cardboard is going to stack. The thing is so complicated that the city literally makes an app so you can keep track of all your days in the neighborhood. So you have to separate all of your recycling and plastics. So normally in the States, you can just put everything in a blue bin and then it's that easy except in Switzerland they really want to be clean so you need to put like the big pet bottles in one section then like the other milk bottles in one section I wish I had one right now to show you so, so it's pretty simple all you have to do is put the pet thing in the right icon and throw it in so you can have some fun with this And this is something different because it's like made out of some different material. So if you're going to look for the symbols, you see that this looks like pretty similar to each other. It says, so just put it in. Ooh. Okay, not only you can recycle your plastic, you can also recycle other stuff. For example, your CDs, but if you want to get rid of the CDs, you can always wash that boring stuff you have on it. Also, your coffee capsules, like, so you can just put them in. And also, whatever this is like, is this like your Tupperware? Also, batteries, which you cannot normally throw in the trash, so that's kind of convenient. Also, whatever this is, so that proves to you that, this, like, the Swiss, I want everything to be clean and super organized. This is where you recycle all your glass. And the Swiss are really specific. So brown glass, brown colored glass, white glass, white colored glass. And then there's also green glass like with some wine bottles but also you can use 
blue, red, and unapplicable instead of green. Green. So it's really common to just put some of your stuff that doesn't apply to other ones just in green. And also with your cans and all stuff, you you have to put in the metal place. There's two cans of metal. I do not know why. You might be wondering why do you have to waste your time going to all these recycling centers? It's because that in the states you could just throw everything in a blue bin. Plastic, glass, metal, paper, all the stuff is cool that you want is recyclable. Except with all the recycling plants, it is not consistent and everything gets contaminated. America used to sell to China, except China stopped doing that deal. So now a bunch of stuff is just in the landfills. Did you know that in Switzerland, you cannot recycle stuff on Sundays? The reason is because while recycling is super loud while you put the stuff in, the glass makes a big clanging sound. Also, there's other things on Sunday that you cannot do, like doing the laundry, because that's loud, vacuuming, that's also loud. So the Swiss just want a nice and relaxing Sunday. I hope you like this video and learn a bit how recycling works in Switzerland. Let me know in the comments below how your recycling works in the country you live. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye!